is up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're a past subscriber, welcome back. My name is Daniel Porter, DP for short. And um, today is gonna be a good day. I'm waiting on some packages. Um, I'm gonna go visit a homie, check out his vintage collection. Uh, he runs a showroom, so it should be cool to check out. Um, hopefully I get some good footage for you guys. But um, yeah, this video is gonna be cool. Um, I'm gonna take you guys along with me for uh, a few days and uh, just show you what, you know, DP gets into. So um, other than that, let's get straight into it. start off with I've been really on my like Japanese archive so I love old Issei Miyake so RP okay. Issei but the iconic um the Chisada Smorton design we they um him and his student back in the 80s and 90s um made a line um and this is one of the lines they did they did a bunch of like sport bombers and they had the classic the care label um, but you see a lot Damn, of references yeah. off this nowadays like Stussy did a reference off this mm -hmm. um, two of my favorites some uh forget what season i want to say all winter 90 90 98 but it's just like fuck the police <laughs> and then you got the undercover no power but obviously i love my my old music piece uh you know, oh, as well yeah. so current, you got more Probably my favorite, favorite piece in here is, um, um, this is like from, I want to say the 1960s. Um, this is all like hand sewn. Who made this? So, uh, some random person, some random grandma. Oh. I don't know who did, but this is all like hand done. This is yeah, so. all handmade. Yeah, so crazy. Yeah, people used to just sit in the house and go crazy right? with it. But Create yeah, some masterpieces, love dude. right here, you got like little compass. The details are insane. Details, yeah, so. And this is definitely something like Bodhi, which is like thousands of dollars worth yeah, of yeah. exactly what they reference. How yeah. much of this stuff do you buy just off of your own style, your own like, taste? Oh, oh. And then yeah, yeah, how yeah. much is it for yeah, the no, clients um, or the customers? I think now, since I have a showroom now, it's like, I'm gonna say around at least 80% of the stuff. Um, aside from like obviously all the $20 stuff, which I'm just yeah, saying, you know, yeah. like people always want cheaper alternatives. But yeah. Everything else is mainly like stuff that I like and then okay. brands that I kind of resonate with. For and, sure. You know. And you just opened up what? Uh, four months ago? Four yeah. months ago, yeah. Coming up on four months, yeah. Appreciate you letting me slide through, bro. Yeah. Hell Thank yeah. You, bro. Appreciate you. Hell yeah. 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 And this one, this one like half inch. First up, uh, we have these Clark Wallabies that I grabbed online. Um, I definitely needed um, a pair of these. I used to have the same pair um, a few years ago. I pretty much ran those into the ground and decided to grab a new pair. 
these are pretty much a classic uh, leather upper and then the uh, also the classic um, Clark's gum sole. Um, they have the brown laces. You can swap them out with the orange, but I think we're gonna keep the uh, brown ones in for now. Uh, yeah, just a classic Clark's shoe. Now that I have these, I definitely wanna get um, probably two other pairs. Of course, the uh, I believe they're beige or whatever they're called, the all beige pair and then the all black pair. Definitely a classic staple shoe just to throw on with um, almost an, any fit. You could dress them somewhat up. Um, you could definitely dress these down and I'm um, definitely happy just to have these in my collection. So these are the Clark Wallabies. On to the next, we have two t-shirts that I bought from Sweats Collective. But yeah, grab these two um, t-shirts. I'm actually wearing one right now. It's the washed black and um, they come oversized. Um, it's a 100% cotton, 300 uh, GSM heavyweight t-shirt. Size reference, I am six feet, 210 pounds, and this is an extra large. So um, the extra large fits good. Um, fits me like an oversized extra large would, but um, I also would like to have the large. So I'll probably be getting those pretty soon. These two, nothing too crazy, just decided to grab these two because of um, the wash, the coloring, the fade on these. One of them is a Maria Callis Masterclass shirt. Uh, I believe she was an opera singer. Um, don't really know too much about her, but um, love the wash, love the fading on these. Uh, they have a little sun fading on the shoulder, so uh, I'm really feeling that. So decided to grab it. And uh, the other one is made by Dark Horse. Don't really know uh, too much about that either. It has a really nice fade across um, the chest. Uh, black is nice and faded. Um, and yeah, just these two shirts feel really good. Like feel like real vintage tees. So, so yeah, these are the two tees that I got from Jug Life, the homie John. Last but not least, we have this Balenciaga language hat. Um, Right when it came in the mail, I noticed that the stitching on the brim was uh, raised a little bit, so I thought that was cool. I don't know what the languages are on here. Maybe I'll do a little bit more research to figure that out, but as of now, um, I have no idea. So yeah, um, it's a strap back. Um, there's a tag on the left side that says Balenciaga. There's other tags on the right that has uh, fabric um, details and specifics. Um, the hat is a size medium, so luckily, um, it fits my head. I'm growing out my hair right now, so uh, I was kind of concerned with uh, if it was gonna fit or not, but it fits pretty good. So i um, definitely happy with that. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, so yeah, Balenciaga language hat. Just stopped by the little taqueria in uh, Concord, California. Yeah, man, I haven't had a steak and shrimp burrito in a minute, so I'm about to try this out. Uh, everything that I get there usually is fire. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, decided to visit the parents for a little bit. Uh, they live out here in Concord, so uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. Steak and shrimp. It's decent. That goes the inside. No, no beans, steak, shrimp, extra pico. Woo! This thing is lightweight, spicy. It's a cool seven out of 10. Nothing like burritos in the city, but it's a cool seven out of 10.
Because there's a couple. <laughs>